Hello, good morning, and welcome to another date on This Morning. I am Citizen Jones Osen. Now, all eyes appeared focused on, on, on the PDP now that its national convention has come and gone. Uh, regardless of the, you know, the, the build-up to the exercise itself, uh, we're going to discuss the fallouts and so on, and related issues. Let, let me quickly meet and greet my guest. Dr. Austin Weze is a, a lecturer, is a, an economist and politician. Yes. Uh, welcome, Dr. Weze. Thank you very much. Agba Jalingo is a journalist, publisher, and an agitator for good <laughs> governance. Uh, great to have him here after many, many moons. Thank, I thank, you. You. thank you very much, Susan. Yeah. And of course, uh, Victor Okai is uh, a film producer critic. And uh, believe this, he, he's just been crowned the Menasara Ajingi. <laughs> not crowned, uh, please. Just that, that's in Kano, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I hear, not uh, crowned. <laughs> yeah, Menasara means the favored one. Yes. Uh, great to have you here, a favored Thank you one. For yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah, gentlemen, uh, regardless of the feverish build up, the convention has come and gone. Uh, Vita, let me start with you. Okay. It was suggested that the South should uh, pick the national chairman of the party, you know, at the convention. But the question came of whether it should be from the Southwest or from the area across the Niger. Now we know better. Yeah. Well, um, the thing is, in politics, you don't make assumptions. Um, I mean, even when you exact promises, you don't go to bed with your eyes closed because anything can change. And so for perhaps the candidates from the Southwest have made an assumption that since they have, that they have not produced a candidate all these years and that it will since automatically... Since 1999. Yes, yeah. that it will automatically go to them was, if you like, some sort of political naivety. And again... Another mistake oh, that was made of, the, sorry, of, of, the, of those candidates, okay. the candidates, not necessarily the whole of the South. Okay. You know, it, it, that should have been negotiated. It's like what's happening right now that, you know, there's an agreement that the North will produce. There is a definite, there's no assumption there. It's agreed. If it was zoned to the Southwest, the Southwest should have taken time to negotiate with the South. I mean, it was zoned to the South. They should have taken time to negotiate with the other areas in the South. Um, and so many candidates came, they couldn't get a consensus. And since it was zoned to the South, uh, you know, uh, are agreed upon that the South will produce a candidate, um, it meant therefore that anyone could have aspired. There was no gentleman's agreement in the sense, no handshake, you know, to seal a, so a deal. You don't work on assumptions and come back later. I'm sure we'll have time to analyze it some more. I just want to use yeah, that okay. as, as, you know, as a... Uh, Agba... In politics, and, and the statement credited to uh, the so-called first antichrist, I'm, I'm talking about Napoleon Bonaparte, mm -hmm. the statement is very trite here. In stupidity, in politics, stupidity is not a handicap, <laughs> if you understand what I mean. Yeah. Well, I, okay, okay, I want to see it differently. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you look at it from, from the perspective of who is spending money, where PDP has, they are their largest tentacles. You could easily talk about the South South. They have three governors in the South South. They have 15, sen uh, 13 senators, and they have about 43 members of the House of Representatives. If you look at it from that perspective, and of course, money is talking in River State. <laughs> River State this year alone has got 97 billion naira from FAC. The only state that has done better is Delta, which is also another PDP state in the South South. So money is also talking. <laughs> there were allegations yesterday that are flying back and forth, even though we are not quite sure whether they are true or false. But if it's at that level, yes, you could say that um, the chairmanship should go to the to the south south. But strategically speaking, and considering the fortunes of the party and the expectations of the generality of the members, so I think it was expected that the chairmanship, national chairmanship, should have been considered to the southwest. That is what. Um, even me, who is not a member of the party, who is not even a sympathizer, that's what I expected. Okay. Uh, that um, if they do that, the equation may somehow, the immediate past president of the country came from the South-South. And a couple of other things. You would have expected that, okay, they will allow the Southwest to, 
to lead the party and see where it will go. But taking it back to uh, Port Harcourt, to River State, I think for me, strategically, it, it wasn't the right thing to do. It's like uh, taking yeah, I, I South feel, for granted. I, you know. I, let me just pick it up from where he stopped, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because, uh, you know, when uh, using, um, uh, well, a Pareto uh, principle of uh, deploying more of your this thing at the strategic uh, uh, area. The Southwest, Southwest is, is, is strategic for the PDP. They have not done well. Therefore, they should have you know, deployed more resources to have some comfort from the Southwest. And it was a missed opportunity for them to do so. You know? And um, considering that, again, the role that um, uh, the spokesperson, in parenthesis, uh, IO Fire, the governor of the Kitty State, you know, for a PDP spokes, unofficial spokesperson, mm. you know, you saw from there. And uh, you can't put it, he really wanted the Southwest to produce. But again, uh, I listened to him during uh, the convention, and uh, you could see a man that was struggling to have his team together. And, uh, and it was at the last minute, he spoke to them, and some of them refused to step down. You know, and they couldn't consolidate all the votes. You know, so it, it, it was a missed opportunity for PDP, you know, to really, to really take advantage of the Southwest. They already have, they have a good, a good, uh, a strong uh, presence in the <coughs> South, South, Southeast, and, and all that. They did a Southwest. Yes. And they couldn't. And so a chairmanship yeah. slot would have made the difference. Exactly, it would have that, made a difference. Yeah. I see differently. Okay. Completely differently. All right. This is, we're talking strategy here. Um, to the outsiders, it may seem like, okay, it was a missed opportunity. What is a chairman after all? Yes, you can be influential, you can swing things one way or another, but have you considered the fact that the PDP may also be leaving its flanks open for maneuvers, for, for strategic moves, depending on what is APC produced <coughs> in the future, who the candidates are, you know, the equation. By doing what they have done, the VP slot definitely will no longer go to, in South, South is completely knocked off. If they had put a Southwestern person there, okay, it means they will not produce a vice presidential candidate, which may not, it may not be strategic, okay? If they put a Southeastern person there, it has knocked off, you know, the South is from the VP slot. So by choosing somebody from South, South, their options are open, you know, okay. depending on the calculations and whatever APC does, they would be able to, I mean, if a VP suddenly emerges for the Southwest, what, will the Southwest now complain and say they've been marginalized? You know, people are just playing politics. This is a strategic. There are people who are thinking, people who are working. Those who do not understand can sit down and say it was a lost opportunity and all that. But for strategic but if, thinkers... If you, even if you, if, finish, you, if, you, even if you get it, Victor, let even let if you finish. get it, Yes. You know, uh, is it going to promise, uh, is, it, is it guaranteed that you're going to win an election? No, but that's a you different matter. You know, get the different, no, 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 the, no. the votes. See, you no, need a chance. Let, let, let him bury it. Bury, bury, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a strategic move. And when you do that, I mean, we'll come later, maybe we'll go into all the utilities and all that data. But you see, the thing is, when you do that, definitely, <clears> you cannot say if you put a man there, he's not going to attract votes from that, from that mm. sector. So you leave those options open. By doing what they have done right now, South, South, okay, you stay here, but you know, you can't produce VP. Okay. So they've been knocked out of the race. All right. So now the race for VP is open between the Southeast and the Southwest. Southwest. And, and that's a good, that's, it's a good strategy. Oh, oh, sorry, what, what were you going to say? Yeah, I was just going to say that, look, uh, you know, part of um, uh, the strategy to governor support from the Southwest is by putting someone from there. And those, the, the person from Southwest, being the chairman, we, you know, people will really support. You know, people will now, because of that position, he will work harder to, uh, you know, convert the Southwest to PDP. These are sympathies. These are. See, um, <laughs> <laughs> which, which is what I <laughs> meant when I said, <laughs> in politics, stupidity is not a handicap. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, Jones, let's not allow uh, uh, Mr. Victor make it feel like uh, the position of the national chairmanship is not important. That is no, what. So. That is what stampeded PDP for. About two years until they dragged the matter up to the Supreme Court. Yeah. About who was important. going to be yeah. so national chairman key, or not. Key position. Yes. It is very the position key. of a yeah. vice presidential candidate, particularly when you are not even the ruling party any longer, is not a surety. Yeah. 
You understand? And, and I want to believe that challenging the Southwest with the police. Somebody said yesterday that even when the Southwest now was uh, a member of PDP, that the, the region did not, still did not uh, do well for the yeah, party. True. But I thought that somebody would have challenged the party with that position, as it were. But I think strategically it will have been better he, 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 for the PDP to, to, uh, as a party. To, it would have been a lot better. Because in the, in the past three elections, uh, the joker, the ace of the past three elections has been whoever is able to collaborate, uh, collaborate well with the Southwest. Even what happened in the last election, that the PDP was kicked out of Asu Rock, was because the North was able to collaborate very, very well with the southwestern part of the so, country. So the Southwest is uh, a Yes, bride. it has been the joker in the past three elections. It has been the joker. And I, I, I would think that uh, the PDP, because this sounds like taking the, the region for granted. That's, what I, that's the, the, the simple way I see it. No matter how we try to, to explain it, somebody somewhere who had money <laughs> just feel that, okay, we can, we can do it without them. After the Victor, convention, Victor, we can do reconciliation. Victor, right? somebody <laughs> said you were going to have a walk in the, in the park. park here. Yeah. You know, so so yes. I see you are shaking your head, but, but yes. then let, let me steer us away from that. Yeah, Doug, yeah. let's look at the build-up. The build-up to the convention was, was anything but... but, but uh, comfortable, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the night of the uh, convention itself, claims and counterclaims. I see Dokwesi at the last minute just gave up, but still said, you know, irregularities. Internal democracy. It's been on the on the front burner since 1999. Well, the the uh, one thing again is that. Um, we have not had any homegrown, homegrown in the sense that what we are used to. And um, this thing was foisted on us. And we, what do you we mean, borrow, democracy? Yeah, we borrow the style, the liberal democracy we, we pretend to practice. And one of Nigeria's major problems, the major problem in our democracy is the party politics. We are seeing it play out. There is no way, you know, they build up all the struggle was just to wrestle power. Even at the end of uh, the whole thing, the new chairman gave an order that the major focus the wrestle power from APC and all that. So underline the phrase, wrestle, wrestle power. power. Simple. Now, they don't consider what happens to Nigeria as a, as a nation. Are they gonna build a new nation? Are they gonna restructure? And that's not a problem. That is not their concern. But the thing is that, let's get this power first. You know, Jones, remember as a young broadcaster, I used to play some song those days. Now that you find love, what are you going to do, do with it? it? Now <laughs> that you have power, yeah, what are you going to do, do with it? it? That's exactly what is going to play out. He played out in 2015 after APC1. You know, you see what happened? It's, it's going to play out any time they take over this thing. The thing is that now that you have power, what are you going to do with it? Victor. Well, um, I don't think that the PDP has that problem because they're, they're experienced, they've been in government. You know, so it's not like a party that's just getting into power and will get there and not know what to do with it. Um, in talking about, in discussing even so, sorry, what sorry. just happened. Sorry, just to, help, to, to yeah. add, so, so yeah. Yeah. but it said when it first came, we are going to be in power for 60 years. Yeah. Anyone can talk. Okay, that's politics. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, have you ever seen it? Nobody, nobody alive today, I mean, if we, I mean no, we all sit down here, but deep down in our hearts, nobody, nobody, nobody plans to die. <laughs> we all hope we live forever. Do 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 with with it? It? That's exactly what is going to play out. It played out in 2015 after APC1. You know, you see what happened? It's going to play out any time they take over this thing. The thing is that now that you have power, what are you going to do with it? Victor. Well, um, I don't think that the PDP has that problem because they're, they're experienced. They've been in government. You know, so it's not like a party that's just getting into power and will get there and not know what to do with it. Um, in talking about, in discussing even so, sorry, what sorry. just happened. Yeah, just to help. To, to yeah. add, so, so yeah. Yeah. but it said when it first came, we are going to be in power for 60 years? Yeah. Anyone can talk. Okay, that's politics. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, have you ever seen it? Nobody, nobody alive today, I mean, if we, I mean no, we all sit down here, but 
deep down in our hearts, nobody, nobody, nobody plans to die. <laughs> we all hope we live forever. You know what I mean? Mm. You know, the thought of death, we keep it as far away as possible. Oh, yeah. It's the same way. You're in power, you know, or your government is in power. You hope it continues. But someday, it's going to come to an end. You know, so that's the reality of it, you know. And I also want to say this. You know, it's easy to um, talk about, you know, uh, a group of people that have come to corner the party and all of that. Who is the candidate that won? Have we considered his pedigree? Okay. We, we'll consider a lot more okay. uh, about him and many other um, of, of the new um, men yes. at the helm in yes. the PDP. But let's take this commercial break. Please feel welcome. Stay. Don't go. All right, I'm mighty glad you're still there. Um, the thrust of the discussion this morning, post-PDP National Convention, if you like, the day after. Um, you were going to talk about uh, the national chairman. Yes. Yeah. See, Pedigree and all that. Yes, yes. Um, Be beyond being, at a time, uh, a, a, an acting national chairman. Yeah, no, but, but it's also important. We can't rule it out. Okay. Um, when... The APC took over. Um, no, when it won the election and took over. Well, you can't take over without winning, obviously. Uh, okay. So it's implied. Okay, all right. <laughs> so my, so my <laughs> <laughs> no, when you say <laughs> took over, over the military it took over. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's no other way. It must be democratic. <laughs> you know, so anyway. Right, Victor, yeah. Yes. So, um, okay, whatever. When they got into government, <laughs> you know, so. Um, a lot of people in PDP then, uh, many were too embarrassed to even show their faces. The only voices you really heard who were able to come out strongly and even say they are PDP. It became like an anathema. When they say you are PDP, it's almost like the throwing, leper. Yeah, exactly, as if it was leprous. But a few people stood. Fanny Kayode, Fayoshi, Wike, Secondus, a few of them. You know, and uh, Secondus, so when, if, if you, if you fought a war <coughs> and you stood when everybody has abandoned ship, if the spoils have been shared, naturally, I mean, it should, the first share should come to those who fought. Uh, but Secondos has been a party man throughout. Through. Look at his pedigree. He's been chairman of PDP, River State twice. I mean, you can, through the ranks, he was, he was a youth leader as well. He's been there, he's done it, and he was deputy national chairman as well. Now, you can say that he has... He has, he knows people from all regions, from, by virtue of that position. He understands the workings of the party. He has been there before. None of the other candidates, or most of the other candidates, none of the other candidates, I dare say, has the experience up to that height that he has. <coughs> you understand? And so it is only natural that in rebuilding the party, you need someone who has been there, who understands it, who knows where everyone is and can galvanize. You know, there may have been better candidates, okay? What is unfortunate for him right now is the fact that, okay, maybe the man, one of the people with the war chest mm -hmm. is, uh, happens to come from his state. Yeah. You know, so it may seem like an unfair advantage and all that. Yeah, yeah. But there was something else, okay, I, uh, yeah. there was something else that they did which others didn't do. I'll but talk who about are that. They? Eh? Who are the other candidates. They? Okay, okay. That yes. Is. I, I I'm sorry, Agba Jalingo, <laughs> yeah. take over. In his acceptance speech, mm. Uche Sekundu said, amongst other things, the APC is a tenant at Aso Rock. We'll take over. Pa. So take over, take over. Mm. So tells you it is power and power and power. You see, like, he just uh, reeled out uh, the credentials of Uchi Secondus. I, I, I can't lay claim to knowing him very well. But no matter how good he is, it would have been better if he had won without the, the deluge of complaints we're hearing from the other candidates. It leaves us with the impression that 
uh, the election was not free and fair. That's what the other candidates are saying. They're talking about unity list. The list that came from Niger State, we even saw the name of a dead person there. Senator Kure, the former governor of Niger State, his name was on the list from Niger State. He's As dead. a delegate? Yes. He's dead. And we were, also, an we were also hearing that the number of votes that were casted were more and above the number of accredited delegates. Yeah, let's say, Victor, have you heard that? Mm. Frankly, yeah. this and is new on me. It's new on me. And the unity list, and the unity list that I know of is the candidates, not delegates. The candidates to be voted for. Okay? Mm. Now, but he, he was in man, the middle of Okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, would yeah. so I, I was saying that so he became the, the, the proverbial uh, tiger that will not uh, lose his stripes, no matter the <laughs> volume of rainfall. <laughs> yes, even in trying to revamp and, uh, and bounce yeah, back, yeah. They, they still cannot throw that away, no, you know? No, 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 no. <laughs> but nevertheless, we must be courageous enough to give kudos to the party because uh, generally for parties of this nature, their conventions are very combustible. And I can't wait to see what will happen with the APC when they hold their own. Uh, I am waiting very anxiously to see whether the party will also combust. Because there's a possibility of a new APC, <laughs> just like new PDP, imagine from their convention. So we must give credit to the party for finally coming to this point. But of course, they left us with that same impression. And to think that they are not looking for power, I don't know if anybody out there was deceiving himself or herself that PDP was looking for a way to come back and change Nigeria. After 16 years, you, you didn't do anything. I don't know who they are bringing on board. The thing is about power. <coughs> Just like they put the drop power, like you said. And then, of course, they, they went into hibernation for a long time and, and they're trying to wake up to pick the pieces because 2019 is around the corner. The, the same thing is <coughs> going to happen to people, and they'll keep alternating themselves back and forth like that for the foreseeable future. I don't, I don't think that any one of them is actually yeah. thinking about changing the country now at the moment. Yeah, I, for them to come back, you know, just like uh, Agba said, it takes, it takes a party, it takes um, uh, people with, uh, you know, big war chests, to be financial, financially speaking, you know, to be able to um, uh, come back the way they did. And uh, kudos to, um, even though they were the ones that actually caused the problem in the first place, uh, uh, the two governors. Namely? The weekend and the fire <laughs> share. Okay. In an attempt to uh, bring back a uh, man, they went and brought uh, Sheriff, uh, Amod the Sheriff, <laughs> and who came, became a fifth columnist. And, uh, in your estimation? Yeah, in my estimation. It was, basically, that was what <laughs> he came to do. And uh, to destroy, to disseminate, dis, 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 just dis, scatter the whole thing. And uh, he did a swell job at it. Uh, but fortunately for them, they were able to, you know, when, I don't know, the spirit in PDP is like, that's because it's a family affair. They have a way of coming back, you know, from their difficult moments, you know. So having been able to hold this convention that the, the name PDP is actually, you know, coming up. And uh, I don't, I don't blame, I don't blame them because the kind of hype their PDP. Oh, people are forgetting that this was the same party that messed up the whole thing <laughs> and all that. But uh, who, who gave them that opportunity to be yeah, to come back? Yeah. Is the uh, the, uh, the APC and other parties that uh, you know that gave them the opportunity? Otherwise, yeah. you know, PDP would have been, you know, gone, yeah. and the new Victor, one would have come up. Uh, Victor, as they say in advertising, yeah. PDP was becoming more of a hard <coughs> sell. Yeah. Hard yeah. Cool. At the time of the implosion. Yeah. Well, um, ABC did a good job of it, I dare say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like the problem that I think we're having today give a dog a bad name to hang it. You know, uh, perception is um, perhaps the only reality a lot of people will ever oh, know. Because yeah. oh, not yeah. everyone has access to uh, the individuals, or in this case, uh, the party and its inner workings and machinery. And so, uh, the idea was, you know, just keep, keep, you know, pointing at them as being responsible for all the problems. And it has managed to, it's almost stuck, but you know, see, uh, if they reinvent themselves, as I'm sure it's, it's, it's beginning to happen, you know, and, and to reinvent means 
Uh, the, if the other party doesn't have its acts right, it doesn't get its acts right, then obviously it makes it can make a bad man look great, mm. you know. So where we're beginning to see a situation like that, you look at both of them and you wonder what's the difference. It's like same difference, you know. So, uh, but with with what is going on, I think the party is coming back very strongly, bouncing back, and the, you certainly cannot ignore what uh, Atiku's, um, you know coming back into the party uh, has done and will do, you know, for the party. It certainly has his followers from yeah. the PDMDs and all of that. So. Agba, the long and short of <clears throat> all of these is about the people. Is it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> is it? Sure at, at the end of the day. <laughs> Which of the people? <laughs> <laughs> the party Defin what's definitely not about the people. Are the we people. the people? We the people. We the people. <laughs> yeah. Certainly, it's not about us. It's not about us. People want power. And um, I still see PDP is still far from reinventing itself. They're very, very far from reinventing. They should not roll out the drums yet. They can keep kicking the can down the road. But I know for certain that. There are a lot of crises that will come out of this convention. Yes, they are going to troubleshoot, they are going to do reconciliation. But certainly, some people are going to get so angry and things are going to happen from this. And then, of course, he just mentioned a uh, possible candidate. <laughs> mm -hmm. I told you money is talking. If these are the people they, are, they still they want to use and remove President Buhari by 2019, then the, the party has not started. The party has not started. Y if you break it down. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you, if, for, if somebody for, thinks for that it's an article that will yeah. remove Wadi from power, yeah. the party has you not know started. What, you know what I want to say? <laughs> the party has not started at all. You know what I want to say? You go and look for a candidate. Then. I'm, I'm a, I want to see a third strong <laughs> yes. party that Atiku might even, you know, move if they don't give him the ticket. Midwife. Tickets. Midwife, yes. Yes. I want to see that. A He's third not party. good at midwifing. Huh? He's no. not good at midwifing. That's that's what I, I have noticed with Atiku. He's not good at midwifing. No, but again, he, he, can, he, he can get people. particularly political parties. Maybe he's good at midwifing companies. No, no, no. Uh -huh. But he can Maybe actually talk about politically. He, by midwifing, he could be the big masquerade behind mm. that will finance because the guy has money. Mm. He has a big war chest. No, obviously he's bringing yeah. his money to play now yes. because if, he if has you money. notice. On, yeah. the, on the lighter note, we saw some of the delegates from Kano, and it was pure water that they had on the ground. And, and as a matter of fact, one of the, uh, Usuli Lamido, who is a, also a prospective presidential candidate, yeah. <laughs> went to bring a shirt of the 2012 convention. You could see the PDP convention 2012 boldly okay, written on his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> So he could have had that the party is broke. The party is broke. That's, that's on a lighter fact. note. That's that's fact. Fact. And I think he's coming on board with plenty of money. In yeah. politics. Oh, yeah. In <laughs> politics. Uh, uh, all right, Victor. Need... Uh, uh, the back room is saying go on this break. Okay. We'll go on this break. It's getting more interesting. Mm -hmm. Don't stray. We'll be back. Please. Tatars are in Tatars. Mm -hmm. um, several of them are in Tatars. And um, <coughs> basically, if you check, the major factor is that the party is broke. That's the truth. Like I was telling you, some of the delegates could not even afford bottled water. It was pure water that they were drinking, and they need some money back. They're broke. Yeah, they need it. I can only believe your comment will help this discussion. Yes. <laughs> so, so I, 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 I want to think that the new leadership will begin work immediately by trying to reconcile the various warring factions of the party. It is very, very important if the, the party, because even as, I, I, yes, it's very obvious, I, I don't think that my, my, my love for President Buhari is a secret, but I look forward to seeing a very strong opposition party because the APC itself has misbehaved so many times that it, it get even me really, really very angry that I wish there would be a party somewhere that can hold them to do what they promised to do for Nigerians. But, uh, every move that PDP takes, it, it don't, they don't look like a serious group of people that want to, to tackle APC the way we want to see them. They just want to get back to power and continue from where they stopped. <clears throat> <laughs> That's what it appears to me. They want to get back to power and continue from where they stopped in 2015. It looks like That's, somebody tied the noose on the post yeah. and they want to get their hands back on that post. Because they are not, post, they are not giving us any alternative. In terms of government policy, they are not. And then, of course, they are not showing the capacity to run themselves, just like we are talking about the various state uh, chapters of the party. They, are, they, are not, they don't have capacity to manage them. So it oh, looks like what was holding now. them together was the post. Uh -huh. And the moment it was taken over from the, them. The national post. The national, national post. post. Yeah, and then everything uh, and was, how can they be, because um, they are not empowered, they are not used to not being in power. Mm -mm. 
and then they're, they're, yeah, they're not, like, like, they're not like, used to like we say in soccer. Some managers are not used to losing. Losing, yeah. yeah. And some people like you, Jones, you're not used to not having money in your pocket to oh, spend. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know. So not even you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's 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 it's, an, it's, it's a kind of um, <clears throat> you know something strange mm. to them not being there, control the national ports, ports, and all that. And then the state chapters you mentioned, mm. or, or should being they didn't have inconclusive this thing. Uh, uh, you know, so it shows. Why, you know, the kind of job they have, bef uh, you know, before them to really get the party on the, at grassroots uh, grass level to be able to, you know, really, really come back. But again, the danger this kind of thing poses for for the nation, the the, the country, Nigeria, is that governance. Nobody is <coughs> thinking about development. Nobody talking about governance, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, it should just be business as usual. Mm -hmm. Who suffers like the, it's about the people? It's not. It's about them, not the people. They are not even happy that we are alive. Oh, come on. They're not uh, happy. Victor, Victor <coughs> does not buy that. You know, I I I find it laughable that my oh, colleagues yeah. are are talking like this. <laughs> For one, they don't even have a candidate yet. Okay, they've done a convention, something. APC has not been able to do in the last three years, okay? And they've concluded a convention which to outsiders and the uninitiated, the people think that the house is scattered, okay? But they have done it nevertheless, which means they've moved on. That is behind them. Mm -hmm. And I can assure you it's behind them, okay? And then we're now talking about um, <clears throat> them not so sometimes talking I wonder, about... I wonder if you have a right to think for the party. No, why not? I'm a Nigerian, and I can. I, we're here to analyze, and I can see, you know, so I can I can make my deductions. Yeah, right. Okay. So um, they're not in government. They right now they can't even be talking about the manifesto because they've just done their convention. They need candidates. They need to be able to have a candidate and then be able to articulate, you know, what direction they're taking Nigerians to. You know, and to be making such demands, I think, is unreasonable. The party is just got, yeah, we have all admitted that it's been in tatters. Yeah, no, not a problem. But if it's putting its act together, then obviously it has to have its acts together in order to be able to articulate a direction. Only now can the party begin to decide how and where it wants to go and to take Nigerians to. All right, you, all right, could, so, you could deduct yeah. that from the statement of the cha new chairman. Which is? You know, this, the second is the statement, yes, the, the welcome uh, address. Yes. You can see the direction. No, give it, it tell me. You know, it's all about, a line or two it, that, it's all about resting power. He gave an order. Let me respond to that, please, very quickly. You know, okay. he, let, he gave let, an order. Let, no, let he gave this. an order. Whatever they can do is to wrestle this power. A answer. good, uh, if there's a party that you is serious point, about this, answer. if let there's me, a party, they should you. be able to at least make a sentence or two on the direction for the <laughs> nation. That's all. Yeah. You see, again, and I don't mean anything by it, but you see, to the uninitiated, you look and say, <laughs> uh, why should you make a statement like that? If you don't understand politicians or politics. But, but he's a politician. I, don't, I, would, I want to explain something to him. He actually okay. ran for governorship. It, I, 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 I respect that. Two times so, not once. I, I respect that. <laughs> I respect that. But perhaps he needs to know a little more so he can advance a little more. Mm. The, the essence <laughs> of power, sorry, without your respect. Rubbing it in. No, no. no. You see, the thing is, eh, if you want to be able to effect any change, you need power. You can't do it from outside by just making noise. You have to get in first, okay? And so, by whatever means it takes, which is why people who don't understand, <clears throat> sometimes criticize people who change parties. Reagan was a Democrat before he became a Republican and ran for office. Clinton was a Democrat, I mean, was a Republican before she changed later and became a Democrat and attempted, you know, to get the nomination yeah, for yeah, her party. Yeah, 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 so yeah, let yeah, me finish, I'm getting okay. somewhere, All right. okay? <clears throat> People have accused people like Atiku. They all crisscross. Nobody has been. People were in unity party in those days are not in the same unity party of Nigeria today. Because the, the thing party is, does not exist. Yeah, no, I'm not arguing, but I want to say this. You know, the thing is, you if 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 you if you cannot actualize your ambition, if you have a dream for Nigeria, eh, and you don't have all the time in the world. Okay, if there's a ceiling, nobody is giving you a chance. Where you have in some parties, there are people who determine who will be who. And if there's if there's stunting your growth, if you, you, you do Victor, a diagonal, it's all right, you do diagonal all, progression. You step all, aside if you permit this, and move Vi Victor, from another party. Victor, the PDP went to election three times. Yes. Outside of 1999, 
2007, 2011, yes. 11, and yes. won all yes. at the center. Yes. What new thing did it bring to the table in I terms of governance? In terms of governance? Yeah, changing, what? changing whatever was. That is where I made my See, comment I, that... I, no, no, but if you don't understand my yeah, question, no, you... No, I, no, do okay. no, I do understand Jones, your question. I do understand your question. that's the point it's I was making. It's a rhetorical making. question and does not, is, it, it doesn't call for an answer. Oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> no, 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 but the point is, but the point is this. That was, the, you know... Yeah, but the, the, you are a little for, less for, than honest, you know. <laughs> <laughs> <With that answer. laughs> no, but, but, but you know that you have been in, you won three elections and... You Can I say amen to that? You <laughs> 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 but talking about the party that Jones uh, you mentioned, that was the point I was, I was making. Yeah, I understand. You won three elections, you know, and then you, you, you stepped aside for a while and you want to come back. Why not? You must give from day one. You must give Nigerians. You know the reason why they should, you should they should bring you back to power. Who is to speak for by? the party right now. Who is speaking for the party? The oh, party I, is the chairman. I, I, from I, the chairman's I, statement, that's I, the point I'm making. Tell you, just I, got in. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'll statement. tell you the name. I'll share the name of some of the principal officers. But let me take Mazi Okora for from Arochuku. Oh, Mazi, welcome. Yes, my Mister Jones. Good morning. I guess in the studio. That's a comrade Mazi Patrick Okora from Arochuku. You see. Good morning. The PDP governors announce the results before the election, two weeks. That is to say, the power of impunity must have played this role, which was very, very wrong. Because if they have their own candidate, what they could have done is to watch. They couldn't have done that. Now, as if, if I follow the history about the story about this uh, election, they said they, they have shown it. That Southeast for chairmanship, Southwest for VP, then not for the presidency. And uh, uh, even at, at start now, we know that um, Fire Shea is saying, uh, Governor Fire Shea says he wants to contest. Now, if they have done their decision, for sure now, you money for workers' salaries plays a role in that place. Because look at some of these states where the governors came there, they got higher marks. They have not paid their workers. Now, which means the party is not broke. Because the governors are still in like one of the man with the white shirt said the problem. But the party is not because if they are broke, if they do the same job, they drink and start their water. They wouldn't have uh, focused on to have that type of body. The question now is this. What do the party have on ground to meet up 2019? Because as a stands now, there is no opposition party <coughs> right now in Nigeria. I was thinking that a core party will come on board, but I've not seen what is happening in the, the, the Labour Party and the rest. This is a time for them to discuss. After this, after this December, come January, election will start. All those opposition parties, they should sit up. But All this right. is still on list. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day in Lagos. Agba. Well, <laughs> you said the party is not broke. Yeah, this is an, I, I, I think PDP is broke, no doubt. They, they want some money back to come give them money. They are broke. If anybody says they are not broke, they say they have only two million naira left in their account. <laughs> that was how uh, 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 the sheriff came in that mm, first place. Mm, they yeah. have only two. And they say they can't even complete their secretariat that they were building. So they are broke, actually. And uh, they are in a hurry to get back to power. But, citizen. So, I mean, they didn't steal I, money to fund the party. Is that what they don't know how to save. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth of the matter. They don't. They might say they can't even pay their workers' salaries, citizen June. Good one. <laughs> they can't pay their workers' salary. It's okay. See, they lost power, all their flags. They used to be very beautiful and shining every time. These flags now are very dusty in the office. They don't it's even go to work. Along with Mohammed, Mohammed, they, they, no they don't pay, uh, don't pay <laughs> salaries again. So, <laughs> but I was thinking that this party will, will, will come back more seriously and push ideology. In fact, if you ask me if I were a member of the PDP, honestly, I, the elections have come and gone. My, my best candidate for the chairmanship was a Jimmy Agbaje. I, I, I see him as a young person. For somebody like me, I would gel with him. Most of the candidates had baggages. They're standing trial, ex-convicts, even though the court later changed their mind. You know, the young he's a handsome old man. Hmm? <laughs> he's a very handsome, okay, he's a handsome old man. No, but he would gel with me. Uh, yes, and yes. when I hear him no, talk, he, is youthful. Uh -huh, he sounds youthful, more like somebody youthful. that I would trust. Very youthful. And rather than seeing the face of I somebody agree. that has just came from jail for I criminal agree. charges, and another person I had to also, uh, the other day he was begging for out of court settlement with um, Ashwaju, and uh, you are still standing trial for collecting money that you didn't give to your colleagues. And those, the party is still contemplating uh, 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 using uh, uh, those uh, uh, sort of people. Uh, okay, okay. Judge mm -hmm. Atikeja. No, no, mm -hmm. uh, hold on. Judge Atikeja is here. I greet you, Judge. Good morning, Citizen Jones, and to the panelists as well. 
Welcome. Welcome. President Jones, uh, with due respect to the PDP people, the, the PDP seems to be synonymous with impunity. They don't appear to be an organization that, that can be helped. You could see that even the PDP man there on the left, when the other panelists were analyzing the mistake of you know, choosing somebody outside the pathway and giving reasons why that strategy would have been a better one. He was constantly in her against the suggestion. That means they do not seem to have any new idea and are not willing to welcome anything different from what they yeah. are used to. Mm. This cannot win them an election. Ele an election that People want to hear what you want to do for them. And you are, not, you are not ready to say, this is what we did before, this is what we are going to do now. All right, John. All you are after is just to snatch power. Okay. And it's, 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 it is, it's right to want to stick back power. Dr. Wenzi, there's always the chance for a new beginning. Yeah. Uh, there is yes, always there, a chance yes, for a yes, new beginning. Also, but again, a new beginning that, you know, will, some new beginnings may not, if you don't get it right from that new beginning, you know, like what they, they uh, putting the wrong uh, foot forward uh, again in the sense that this chairmanship, I still feel that, you know, they would have had a better be new beginning if they had chosen someone like, Jimmy Agbaje, Les Baggage, you know, somebody that is a new face. Les uh -huh. yeah. You know, Les, Les, <laughs> Les, Les of, Baggage, Les Le, Affair. Les everything. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, Les of everything. You know, to give it a new, and then surround them with, surround him with, even though he doesn't have experience about party, inner yeah. workings of the parties yeah. and all that. But such people like secondaries and all that will be with them to tell, to guide them you know, on how things should be done. But what they want to see is a new face. The new face now is not somebody that is charismatic, that can carry that kind of weight, yeah, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, not the way, it's not the kind of face that they want to, the kind of new beginning that I'm, I, 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 want, I would have loved to see. Yeah, Dr. Beginning. Moise, let me team up with, um, okay, okay, we're going to have a call. Yeah. But let me share some of these new names. Um, Colonel, Austin Akubundu, retired, is the national, the new national organizing secretary. Victor? Yeah, I mean, he has a pedigree, so he's, yeah. yeah. But the thing to see, let me, I was going to say, all the way, all so, the sorry, way. I, I want to share some of, you know, we yeah, are talking about a new beginning. Yes. Now, the new national publicity secretary is a journalist, Kola Ologmodinho. Yeah, yeah Professor Kola is a very, it's, it's also, it's a very senior journalist. He has yeah. worked for more than 20 years. He's on the editorial board of this newspaper. He was chief press secretary to David Mark for eight years. He's from Kogi State. He's a very tidy journalist, and I hope that he will bring his contacts to help the party. But it's a very uphill tax for him. Yeah, Austin, this mm -hmm. is what I mean. Oh, Selling yeah. the PDP oh, yeah. is very and uphill, then, but he's a good man. Yeah. The new national deputy national chairman, North, is Senator Gamawa Babawa Garba. Well, since uh, Victor, Victor, Victor is a man, no, sorry, man, being one of the constituencies. <laughs> I know very little about that. That's <laughs> it. Well, but no, nobody, I don't know about him. I never heard of him. Yeah, uh, but, but we do have Maxwell in Tema, Ghana, here. Welcome. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Abba and uh, my, the, the other gentleman there. Good morning, sir. We have Victor here. We have Dr. Mweze here. Yes, sir. Um, I, 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 the, my comment will not be too much, but uh, I just want to tell uh, PDP people that, uh, you see, we know them. <laughs> We've seen what they did for 16 years in Nigeria, and Nigerians were never happy with them. So no matter how they name themselves, no matter how they rate lost themselves, so no matter how they name themselves, no matter how they rate lost themselves, it will be difficult for them to wash off those filthy garments they have leveled on them, on themselves long, long time ago. If you look at what is happening, they believe in political prostitution. That is what they do. 
It's common. It's them, common with politicians, please. Mm. Common with politicians. Well, you see, uh, Uncle Jones, where we borrowed democracy, they don't do it. They do. They do. They do. <laughs> but not as frequent but, as. But, uh, frequent as, as yeah. Yeah. It's not common. Not yeah, yeah, but, but yeah. the man is still on. Yeah. Yeah. But there is this tidy. Go on. Yes. yes, it is not common. We borrowed the United States um, uh, democracy. It is not common there. How many people have you heard that have migrated or politically allotted to um, um, uh, 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 the Democrats, to the, um, uh, the, the, the other party, the, 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 the Republicans? How many times have you heard it? But in Nigeria, it is done. When it doesn't favor them, they go around to this place. And when they muddy the water there, they jump to, uh, onto the other place, and they muddy that water again, they jump. We give excuses. Thank, thank, thank I you. Just, I just, yeah, I believe that. Uh, you're rounding up, sir. Yeah. I believe that if APC will be able to do one or two things that is, you know, Nigeria will, Nigeria will be satisfied with them, okay. and PDP will be long, long gone. I, yeah. I, now, I, now I, just I, a minute, okay. uh, Victor. Um, to shed a toga you have worn for, for too long is a difficult thing. Um, yes and no. Okay. Let's take the no first. Yes. Uh, uh, time was when, I mean, we know how many times Buhari tried, and there was nothing, even Eru five, you know what he said about him at the point in time. He tried and tried and tried. It seemed like it was more like a, someone you couldn't touch. You know, there was the issue of religious things that he was accused of. You know, people were wrong, also, wrongly. Wrong, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All sorts of but that's were, politics. Yes. You know, so they used politics to rubbish him at the time. But at the right time, I recall I said earlier on, you know, no matter how bad you think a person is, somebody's... Uh, excuse my bad English. Somebody's uh, badness <laughs> will make the person look gooder. Excuse yeah, my yeah, English, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, so if some you might find a devil, so-called, and a worse devil will make that lesser devil look like a saint. Yeah, there's no it small, happens. There's no small it devil. Happens. There's no big devil. Well, a but devil in the manner of devil. speaking, in the manner of but, speaking, but, but, but you understand what I'm but, saying. But Jones. And so. Everything depends on who is circumstantial. It depends. You, you have to situate in the time and space and what the situation is. See. If at a particular point in time, okay, what you have, the person you have that you think is not good enough, yeah. or you used to think is not good yeah. enough, yeah. if yeah. a worse person comes, obviously he'll be the best uh, choice. Dr. Owens, just hold on. Wally in Joss, far away Joss, is uh, oh. with us here. Well, morning, good welcome. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Uncle John. I greet you. God bless your guests this morning. Bless you, too. Bless you too. Bless you too. Yeah. I just want to say one thing that PDP, we are expecting them to get it right this time around, but they are easy. Like that man in the middle, what he says is the right thing. You see, in the north, I'm saying it, I've been in the north for the past 35 years. And I've been in Kano, Katsina, all over. No politician born now can beat Wari in any election. No politician, I'm <laughs> telling you, write it down. Wari <laughs> does not need to give any one of them one naira. Before he can pay, those seven north, northwest is for him, northeast is for him. Sure, banker. The only place that I know they can get is the middle base. The southwest, they have, they have really made the southwest. I was expecting them to pick Jimmy Agbaje. All to even lobby and make sure the chairmanship came from the southwest. And for the southwest today now, as why the Tinubu is holding that place. If and Buhari can get together. You see, the, the, the election is already won by APC. And if you look at the eastern part of Nigeria today, what they are part of Nigeria. What okay, do you have okay. for them? You, 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 we are expecting after Buhari, the eastern part to take over. Okay, okay. No. You spoke as if uh, you, you belong in INEC, but he's not. <laughs> <laughs> let, the, no, but, let the elections come. Yeah, yeah, Dr. But, but uh, Jones, you know, my, my, my point is this. If anybody is saying that all the political parties, the two major ones that will bring you know, salvation to Nigeria, is mistaken. We need a third, a third, a third leg. A third leg. Okay. And again, a third leg and then an independent candidate. To be able to neutralize some of this the constitution allow for that independent is what candidacy? I, I don't know how whether they've concluded that we or not. We have up to 50 political parties, you know. So, <laughs> that independent <laughs> candidate will neutralize, will neutralize the cost of running el el electionary campaigns mm. in the past from 20, I mean, from 1999 to 2011. 
the 2015 election, to me, seemed to be like the most expensive election ever in, organized. In our history. In our history. Because a lot, when a governor of a state could use, uh, 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 use uh, uh, over two billion to acquire the ticket to run, you know, for a state governor, you, you can see how much, you know, th that went into that election. Yeah, so, Dr. So, Onweze, yeah. Abdul Latif from Kaduna is here. He's our last caller. Welcome. Akim, right? Abdul Akim from Kaduna. Welcome. Yeah, you want to lift up your voice, as they say. Good morning. Ah, welcome. My contribution to this program is the man in white, white church is spoken right thing. But it's only so for PDP people to accept the, 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 the truth. They won't accept it. It is from clear indication that all what is happening in confession is true picture that they can never change. The attitude because I watch it live. I watch it live on my in my house. But what is happening there is 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 not good enough for PDP or show indication to win Nigeria that they are, they are going to change. Okay. That's the only thing I want to tell Nigeria about PDP. Yeah, Victor, that's it's about change. Let's use it in a different context. <laughs> Will the PDP change? Well, um, <laughs> Any, any, any good strategist would adapt to the situations as they present themselves, you know. And I think that's what... That's what as you say, so you are do. winding down. Yeah. Yes. But I also want to respond. <coughs> See, in talking about the third force, it's easy to talk about it. In politics, you need structure, you need money, you need a pedigree, and whether you like it or not, you need godfathers or influencers. And mothers. Yeah, mm -hmm. in the manner of speaking. So, you know, so to say, just get somebody without uh, so a fresh face, it's not going to work. We're not being realistic. Okay. You, you need a party with structure so that in the remotest village, somebody is campaigning for you. Okay, if you don't have people on ground, you're going to work. So what it, time is so, there? So it's about a name. It's, it's very important. Not just a name, yeah. structure. Structure and on the ground. A name, yes. a pedigree. And then let me respond to Akim very briefly yes. in closing. You see, <laughs> again, I want to use that language, the uninitiated. We just sit down and say, oh, if PDP would have gotten it right. The truth is, whether you like it or not, <clears> Jagaban <throat> has stronghold in the southwest here. Okay? You put a body joint there, it's not going to make... A Jagaban fan, go and vote for PDP because of him. That's naivety. You okay. don't think that way. You understand what I'm saying? So the people are crying. You don't cry. You don't cry more v than v the v believed. V Victor, you use the phrase, <laughs> move on. Let's yeah. move on. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I have to follow Victor from here to go for the initiation because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just talking about those who are not initiates oh, <laughs> so yeah. that we can actually understand. <laughs> where he's coming from. But you see, the um, part of the people I talk with who said um, they don't like this government, some people who are saying, what has come over Akbar? He's supporting Bori. I did, you know this um, sectional politics. He's a full man. He's an old man. We don't like his face. And I say, okay, they are thinking about bringing us a man who is another full-blooded full man like Bori, Atiku. He's a full-blooded full man, the son of a Kato Rera from Adam State. He's a full man. Not just that, by... 2019, he's going to be 73 years, just like Buhari contested when he was 73, I'll be 74. You cannot call that change. They say well, they want to change the change. So I want uh, the PDP to get serious as an opposition party. Let them try and change small from inside, just small like this, and try to allow elections to be transparent. <laughs> that is the only thing they cannot do to today. They still cannot have, conduct a free and fair election. And even there are some media houses that never criticized PDP for the past two years. But day before yesterday, they started abusing PDP again. And I'm sure you know the people I'm talking about. So if you think it's knocking on your door, you have not uh, moved uh, forward. All right, though. let's move forward. Yeah. 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 No, we are moving forward. Yeah. 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 Uh, allow, allow us to move forward, Victor. Yeah. You know, Let's because one is that uh, PDP, they stand a chance also to make it, uh, you know, to bring about internal change. And again, it depends on the kind of strategy they have. And then based on, again, what APC will do uh, from now on, they stand a chance. Working from inside, 
looking at listening to what this uh, comments are being made and all that L have listening ears they will see how they have missed it correct and, and move on but again i keep saying that we need a third one. you know if you're a polygamist you know marrying two wives not do that if you marry three uh -huh, you stand a chance of surviving as a polygamist <laughs> 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 but, but, but let me thank you all for coming. Uh, Victor, uh, okay, many thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. Agba Jalingo, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> Doctor, are you, are you coming back in 2019? By the grace of God. Really. Okay, then. Today is the first day of the rest of the life of the PDP. What it does from today is important. I wish the party well. Thank you. This is our show for today. We'll be here tomorrow. Bye-bye now.